it upsets me and it happens all the time. You as a graduate will come to me and say, Mr. Bennett, I just got a good deal. A lady is offering me $25,000 and I can have her salon. It's a good deal, Mr. Bennett. A lady's selling her barber shop and she said the only thing she wants is $50,000. Oh, Mr. Bennett, that's a good deal because my uncle said he's going to loan me the money and I can pay him back. Or oh, I got approved for the $50,000, so I'm going to buy the lady's salon. I have heard it and seen it over and over again. These old salon owners, Mr. Cook, trying to get these young cats by offering them between twenty-five dollars and $50,000 to buy their business because they're ready to go. Don't do it. What are you buying? And they got a lease. What are you buying with that old furniture? What are you buying for $50,000 when they tell you it's an established business when how do you know those clients not going to pick up and leave once the lady leave? What are you getting for twenty five dollars or $50,000? $15,000, what are you getting? Oh, well, um, she's going to introduce me to the landlord. What's wrong with you? You can introduce yourself to the landlord. Don't do it. I'm going to tell you why. I opened a barbershop with $12,000 in furniture. You let the lady go on about her business, you go and you negotiate your own lease, and then you open up your own place. Most of the time, what are you paying for? You're paying for some old furniture that you're not even going to want anyway. So what you do, you get rid of that. Now you can lease furniture. Now you can get used furniture that's almost just as good as new furniture. So why would you take that lady up on her offer? She gonna take your twenty-five, fifty thousand dollars, and then she's set with the retirement. The problem with these old owners is they don't want to let go, and they trying to, and they feeling like, oh, this is my. I had a lady to tell me for ten thousand dollars, I'm moving out of town. I ain't gonna tell you her name. For ten thousand dollars, I'll sell you my phone number. What that? <laughs> in the world I look like Boo Boo the fool would have paid $10,000 for your phone number because you had a salon for 20 years and you had that phone number for 20 years. You think I'm a fool? How in the world do I know that when the phone ring and I say she moved out of town but I can service you that they gonna come in the door? That's ridiculous. <laughs> Don't let anybody try to sell you short. That's why you should take the business series. Don't let anybody try to sell you short talking about for $25,000 I can sell you my business. You don't have no business because that's a risk that I'm taking. Your clients may walk away. That's a risk that I'm taking. And I see my graduates do it over and over again. They come up with all this money and they give it to people and then they struggle. The equipment breaking down. Half of the people left. When I took one of the established salons, within 30 days, two of the people left already because they already knew I wasn't going to play no stuff because they was a student. Don't come in here with your mess. So they left. So why am I going to think that when I come into Shields shop, all Shields people are going to stay there? You know people don't like change. Well, when we did it, this happened. When we did it, that happened. When we used to do something.